Okay. Ready? Hello? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So, um, Bob, um, thank you for what we did earlier. That's a more expansive version, but I'm going to do a shorter version um, just yeah. to put up real, real quickly. So I'm just going to do some quick bullet points, and then the more expansive version I'm going to put up at, uh, later on this week. So I just want to get through a few quick bullet points. So could you just state today's uh, date and time and who you are? Robert Cross, uh, August 28th, uh, 2011, 10.20 p.m. And my name is Lydia Radin, and it's Sunday, August 28th, 2011. It's about 10 o'clock, 10.30 uh, p.m., uh, 10.20 p.m. And um, I'm tape recording this with your permission. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Um, so we had a conversation today where we went through some bullet points and uh, about um, how some important people in Jersey City had lied and hurt us. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Now, um, did anyone, did Ed Defa did anyone from Prosecutor Edward Defazio's Defazi office ever call you or talk to you? No. Okay. So Stacy Dix could be ask. I mean, I'm sorry. Um, Debbie Simon never checked facts with you. No. Okay. Uh, Tracy McQueen never checked facts with you. No. Uh, Stacy Dix Kubiaski never checked facts with you. No. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to do a couple uh, quick points. Uh, on September, when we were in municipal court with Judge Nelsie A. Rodriguez on September 12, 2008, uh, Stacy Dix Kubiaski recorded in my medical records that you, me, and mom were in a room talking to her. Is that true or false? False. Okay. Mom, uh, was mom there? No. Where was mom? Uh, she was in your apartment. Okay, so at the court, it was you and me, is that correct? That's correct. And were we in a room at all? No. Where were we? In the hallway outside the courtroom. We were on benches, is that correct? That's correct. And you were behind me sitting on the bench. It was kind of uncomfortable, wasn't it? Yes. Um, and you could you, um, now, when when I was, do you, re do you recall me showing uh, Sally Mae Bills and um, postmarked envelopes and explaining to Stacy Dix Kibiowski on September 12, 2008, that my medical school had lied to steal money in a federal student loan program? Yes. Uh, none of that is recorded in the screening document she made that day. Uh, but you do recall that I explained that to her, correct? Oh, yes. Yes. That's okay. right. So, so far she's lied about who was there. Um, and she deliberately kept uh, all mention of federal student loan fraud out of that screening document. So um, now, um, when uh, the, the story I got from uh, Debbie Simon was uh, from Michael S. Stewart, uh, uh, we had the right to hold you based on history at the hospital. I went through with Debbie Simon the fact that the uh, history at the hospital was fraud. Michael Stewart came back with his story changed, and he said, well, I had the right to hold you, Lydia, uh, because you were acting manic in my ER. Rob, Bob, Bob we, I was, you and I were physically assaulted before we were in Michael Stewart's psychiatric ER. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Um, so um, uh, uh, you were physically assaulted, and I was physically assaulted. Is that correct? That's right. Okay. Now, um, uh, um, uh, do you remember when we went uh, on, on Thursday, September 25th, 2008, I went to the courthouse all day and I got a waiver from Judge Fast. I came home, uh, had a meal. Uh, I didn't get back till like 9.30 at night. Do you remember the, uh, the, um, the uh, two uh, workers from Jersey City uh, uh, Psychiatric uh, uh, ER who accosted me on the streets? Yes. And um, do you remember the next day when we told them we had the right to be left alone? That's correct. Are you Stacy Dix Kubiaski's patient? Am I Stacy Kubiaski's patient? No. Yeah. I'm not Stacy Dix Kubiaski's patient either. Apparently, uh, I've never seen uh, Judge Rodriguez's uh, court order that said I had to talk to this woman. I was on the impression it was a one-shot deal. Apparently, she's been running around telling people she's my therapist. She's not. She's a sick freak making up false medical records. Um, but I told, the, I told those people who accosted me on the street, and I remember getting you and Mom at Septem on um, Thursday, September 25th, 2008, we have the right to be left alone. Um, the next day, we went down to the host to Jersey City Medical Center, and do you remember that we were at the front desk? Yes. 
And uh, you remember um, I asked for the phone to talk to Dr. Chang? Yes. And do you remember that I got Dr. Chang on the phone? Yes. And I was talking loud enough so you could hear, right? Yes, that's correct. And do uh, you remember uh, me saying to Dr. Chang, look, Dr. Chang, um, if, you, if there's something going on here, come, uh, me and Robert Cross are in, your, uh, are in your front lobby. Come down and talk to us now. Yeah, I remember that. And he didn't come to see us, did he? No, he didn't. And I was like, well, Dr. Chang, you're sending armed uniformed police to my house. You're sending your, 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 uh, your, your uh, hospital workers to my house. Uh, you know, well, if there's an issue, come down here and talk to me. And uh, you remember, uh, as uh, the only thing Dr. Chang could say was, I can't talk to you, I can't talk to you. Well, but doctor, you can send armed uniformed police to my house, but you can't down, come down and talk to me like a human being. What's wrong with you? Do you remember that? I remember that, yes. Yeah. And you remember that, do you recall that, um, you know, I had phone calls into Stacey Dix Kubiaski on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and she never returned my calls? That's right. Okay, and do you also recall that um, uh, prior to the events in September um, that uh, 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 Ralph and Magda Pagnosi had been um, violating, violating Judge Rodriguez's no contact order coming to the apartment? That's correct. And do you remember a specific occasion where um, uh, Magda Pagnosi had rung my doorbell and uh, she was on the stoop with a uh, video camera and uh, I, mom was there and I leaned out and said, uh, excuse me, uh, Magda, there's no contact order. What are you ringing my doorbell for? Yeah, I remember that. Um, and do you remember um, uh, there were occasions where Ralph, would, uh, uh, Ralph and Magda uh, uh, would come to the apartment and uh, Magna was making videotapes. Do you remember that? I remember that, too, yes. Okay. Um, so, uh, basically, um, I had gone to court in July twice to uh, have Judge Rodriguez, Judge Rodriguez give me a written no-contact order. She refused. And then, in August, the landlords had violated no-contact order. You had testified against uh, the landlords. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. So, the police are not protecting us. Um, they violated the no contact order, and when I went down to Judge Rodriguez, do you remember the struggle we went through to try to get the people at the public defender's office to uh, to get a written no contact order for us, particularly the conversations you had with Mary Lou? Oh, yes, right. And Mary Lou tried to help by uh, trying to say, okay, well, I'll print out a copy of the uh, computer printout. Do you remember that? I remember, yes. Okay. Um, now, to go forward a little bit to... Um, to uh, Tuesday, September 30th, 2008. Um, did Jersey City Medical Center workers come to our house at 4 o'clock in the afternoon? That's correct. And what did they say? They said, uh, tomorrow morning the yard will be evicted and all the yard belongings will be put on the street. So they told you that there was going to be a padlock put on my... Do this is happening at Tuesday, September 30th, 2008, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, they told you that there was going to be a padlock put on the door and all my belongings would be thrown in the street. That's correct. Were you frightened? Of course. Was mom frightened? Of course. And you called me in a panic, didn't you? Yeah. And we tried calling everybody. Remember, uh, I tried calling, we called the sheriff, the police, uh, the, the uh, judge fast, the clerk. We tried to get a straight answer and nobody would help us, remember? That's correct. Finally, I came home, and uh, we went to uh, the Jersey City Police Station. And you remember the police officer that came? He was tall, uh, dark hair, dark glasses. Do you remember him? Yes, I do. And we sat down uh, with him and said, uh, can you please explain to us, you know, what's going on here? And why are you bothering us? We have the right to be left alone. And he, he, uh, he kept backpedaling, saying, I don't know what's going on. This is your landlords are doing this. It has nothing to do with me. Go talk to your landlords. Yes, he said that. And uh, he was like, uh, this is happening with Jersey City Medical Center and your landlords. We have nothing to do with this. Go talk to Jersey City Medical Center. Go talk to your landlords. That's, that's what he said. So it's not harassing for us to go and talk to Ralph when the police told us, we don't know what's going on. We don't know why, why Jersey City Medical Center keeps calling us. Go talk to your landlords. Is that correct? That's correct. And we went to uh, Ralph's house. Ralph and Magnum weren't there. Is that correct? That's right. And um, we didn't go to the front door. 
uh, we were on the street, and uh, Ralph's father, he's referred to as the grandfather, but because he's the grandfather of Ralph's kids, but Ralph's father was there, and he approached us. And um, Do you remember me, me telling him, look, um, I don't know what your son is doing, but if there's a padlock on my door tomorrow and my belongings are thrown into the street, particularly my files that show that uh, Nino Falcone threatened me and any of the other the evidence that we're protecting, if any of that's thrown out into the street, that's called the very serious crime of obstruction of justice, and your son is going to be in very serious trouble. Do you remember me telling that to him? Oh, yes. So giving him fair warning about his son breaking the law is not harassment, is it? Of course not. So after we, we, after we went to the landlords, after the police, and, and I told Debbie, after we went to the landlords, uh, at, because the police instructed us to do that, we went down to Jersey City Medical Center for a second time to, be, to ask them to leave us the hell alone. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay, I'm not Stacy Dix Kibiaski's patient. She's not treating me. I don't, what the, I don't know what this woman, this psychopath, is doing behind my back, but we go, we go to Jersey City Medical Center. We were at the front desk. Is that correct? That's correct. And then they told us to move to the back of the hospital where the entrance way was closer to the psychiatric ER. Is that correct? That's correct. And then Robert Ruiz came out with some supervisor. Is that correct? That's right. And he said, we have to ask you all these questions. That's right. And I said, no, you don't. We have the right to be left alone. Please leave us alone. As a, and as we turned to leave, that's when we were physically assaulted. That's right. And they, uh, they grabbed you. It was, I remember there was one guy, I was looking at you, and there was one guy who grabbed you in this bear hug. He put his arms around you. Is that correct? That's right. Okay. And um, I remember, and, two, and the guys grabbed me, threw me against a wall, slammed my hand, lifted me off my feet, and dragged me through hospital corridors. That's how I got into, Rob, uh, that's how I got into um, uh, Michael S. Stewart's psychiatric ER. Is that correct? That's right. They held you. They didn't leave you go. You had to sit there in the waiting room. And uh, is that correct? That's right. And we were trying to maintain la line of sight because we didn't know what these people were doing. Were you frightened? Of course. Um, and mom went to get to the police. Is that correct? That's right. And when she sent the police officer in, um, he was the same guy that we had talked to. Tall guy, dark hair, dark glasses. Is that correct? Yeah, at the police station, yes. Okay. And we had talked to him earlier that day. That's right. So, uh, when, when, so, and I'm talking to, uh, you saw me talking to him, right? Yes, I did. So when they're saying, oh, you violated the no contact order, the police, t the, the, police got, the police officer who told us to go to the landlords was at the hospital. If they had talked to us, we would have said, he's the one who told us to go there. But they didn't talk to us, did they? That's right. And do you remember me talk standing in the doorway? They were trying to hold me in the uh, psychiatric ER, and there was a, a doorway there, and I'm talking to the guy, and I'm showing him the framework of the doorway. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah, sure. You. Yeah, that's right. So you remember me talking to him as I was explaining to him, look, my landlord had lied, and you can get his fingerprints, and this is how you're going to do it. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. Um, so the, uh, so uh, the bottom line is... Uh, 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 the, 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 we pretty much got the bullet points for now. Oh, wait, last thing very quickly. When we testified, when we were trying to give information to the freeholders, um, when you were there with me in front of uh, uh, Freeholder O'Day, um, they would only give us five minutes. So I was asking you questions in rapid fire. Do you remember that? Yes. And um, because I was asking you questions so quickly to try to get you through the, the, the material because they wouldn't give us any more than five minutes, at the end when I asked you, Bob, um, were we physically assaulted? Uh, be, we were physically assaulted before we were in Michael Stewart's ER. You, ac you accidentally uh, gave the wrong answer because you got trapped in a cadence. Is that correct? That's right. And we tried to go back to the freeholders and correct that because that was a mistake. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Um, so when you were at the freeholders, and I want to get this clear because freeholder O'Day was trying to help us, and he sent the transcript to the state attorney general's office, you actually misspoke about um, us being physically assaulted before we were in Michael Stewart's ER. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. So if I go back to the freeholders with this tape and give it to them with your permission, this will serve to correct uh, the misstatement that you made. Is that correct? Oh, yes, that's correct. So you just want to say it one more time when I have a few seconds left. Where, when were we physically assaulted? Before we went into the emergency room. We didn't go no. into the emergency room. Uh, we, 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 were, we, were, we were assaulted. Yeah, correct. Were we, were we physically assaulted in Michael Stewart's ER before we were in his ER? 
Before we went into the emergency room. Well, before we were taken against our will. Right. Um, am I putting words in your mouth? No. Am I coercing you in any way? No. All right. Thank you, Bob. Okay. <laughs>